everybody and welcome to Be In The Game. I'm Miss B. I have to be honest, I was going to shoot a video on um, Wednesday and or share a video on Wednesday um, for everybody for my Be In The Game community. Um, tips and tricks for working with kids whether you're at home or whether you're at school. And Wednesday was a really, really rough day for me. And basically, long story short, my four-year-old, as wonderful and as sweet as she can be, is really giving me a run for my money. Um, she has, she's working through, I feel like, a few different phases right now. Her younger brother, who is a year and a half, is in complete separation anxiety mode. So he's constantly on me. He is crying. He is upset when I'm not around. Or if I walk away, God forbid, for five seconds, he starts screaming and crying and coming up to me. I know that's a lot for her to handle. But in addition to that, she's um, she's been doing things that are sneaky, like trying to sneak um, treats and stuff after I tell her no, she can't have them. She has been lying. I'll ask her if she did something and she'll say no or she'll give me this face. So I know she's lying. Um, and she's also been saying some really mean things to me. Um, one of the things she's been saying throughout the last few weeks is, well, then you're not my friend anymore or you're not my mommy. So she's been doing a lot. And I have been, I think, one of the most patient people I have tried everything with her. I have done, you know, um, talking to her. I never hold a grudge when we have a bad day, which I feel like that's what it's becoming. It's not just like one time during the day that she's doing these things. It's almost like she does something. We recover for a half hour and then something else happens. She wants to fight me on everything. She's asserting herself and I get it. It's normal. But it is really wearing on me. My patience, especially being a teacher too, my patience is just non-existent at this point. Uh, she's almost five, so we've gone up to five-minute timeouts. We do the timeout. We have the discussion. And an hour later, we're fighting over something else. Like, you know, it's cold outside. It's wet outside. She's got a horrible cough and she wants to take her jacket off. And normally I'm okay with saying like, all right, cool. Well, you know, you're going to be cold, but it's your, your decision. You make it. But when she has a cough, like, no, you are going to get pneumonia. You need to put your coat on. You need to do the smart thing. And still just fight, 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 fight. I am definitely at my wits end as far as her behavior um, and I felt that way too as a teacher. A lot of times I do have students who are very similar to her, very strong-willed, very high energy, will fight back on everything. It is exhausting. Exhausting. First of all, moms and dads who are going through a hard time. What is your feelings on positive reinforcement do you do like a reward system or a rewards chart? I would love to hear about what yours is. Also, phys ed teachers. I have tried to do reward systems in phys ed for my classes to get them to behave. You know, right now I feel like I have a good reign on them. But I do like the idea of, you know, rewarding the classes that are doing a really excellent job. But my problem is that I have so many students. I have, I see over 200 kids a day and that breaks down to maybe six classes a day, 12 classes in total. What kind of reward system or positive reinforcement system do you do? Uh, and how do you swing it? Like, how do you do it with that many kids and that many classes? Um, I tried the sticker boards before, and I guess that's a good way to do it. But I also feel like giving one sticker is hard. It's like, okay, well, you did good with X, Y, and Z, but then you dropped the ball when you guys didn't clean up in the time I asked you to clean up. So I would love to hear from you guys. Moms and dads, please uh, shoot me a message. Leave me a comment. Let's get a thread going. Also, I just want to hear from you. I feel like I have a grid reign on um, 
you know, the flow of my class and the behaviors for the most part. But I do want to say like, you guys did excellent today. Like, let's go. Like, here's what I want to do with you guys. Something simple. What do you do to reward your classes? Um, and also stay tuned to the teachers because I am going to post my plans for my, um, or I'm going to, I'm going to post my plans that I'm going to be doing next week with my kids. We're actually going to be doing kickball. So I'm going to show you how to play kickball with your older kids and then how you would modify the game to play with your kindergartners or play with your preschoolers. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you for joining us here at Be In The Game. Be sure to subscribe and check back weekly for new games and activities.